So I really couldn't wait. The box arrived today, so let's open it together and see what it contains. First layer of foam. Ooh, everything is neatly packaged in small boxes. So let's see if I manage to take them out one by one. This looks like it's the rods. Whoops. And there is one first box, another box, bigger box, guess what, one more box, bad, and power cable, yeah, I have, I have a million of these, and that's it. So let's get a look to what's inside here. So this is the bed. I have a guest here, my dog is around. So she felt the noise of crackling packages and she thought it was threats for her. So that is here. This is the bed. Hmm, that looks decent, at least touching, feeling. There's a bit of a bubble here with some something dust or some debris. Cat is not really super sharp, but yeah, what can you expect more? And this is the heat bed itself. Very, very much similar to the Prusa one. Actually, there is already the parts of the heat bed thing. That's 24 volts. And we also have magnets here on the bottom and a thermistor well placed and everything is glued on top. It says 007 edition, whatever that means. Let's set this aside. Let's have a look at the boxes. Let's go for the first one. This looks like this is the screen, ribbon cable, the power switch and some connectors and the main board is here i'm not going to unpackage it so let me put this back nothing really super interesting here i want to see the mechanical parts so second box here we go Ooh, this looks a little more interesting so we have some accessories here, the sensor, the USB stick, and then uh, a USB cable, yeah, micro USB cable, and I think it's some spare tubing. Pliers, plus I think it's a um, needle, acupuncture needle for the cleaning, so sterile. And then the support of the Z-axis plus some trimming. A set of Allen keys and a wrench of uh, yeah, an excusable quality. Gears and bearings. This is the assembly for the extruder. The extruder bo block pink silicon sock. Bearings, pulleys, what is this? I have no idea. Rubber feet, fans, fans, bearings. This is what I want to look at. So, and then there's fasteners of several kinds. And finally, our power supply. And it's a meanwhile power supply. As advertised, so unless it's uh, cloned, uh, also on the also on the package here, it looks like it's an original mean well. We put it back this stuff in this box here, and I want to give a look to these, but uh, I will get my ends dirty, so I'm going to just do this later.
bars. So rods and this very fancy uh, wires cover. That's nice. The, the lead screw is missing, so I wonder what it is. It's two, four, six, so it looks like that's, that's all of them. Whoops, sorry for the noise, folks. And yep, here we have the motors. So a nice set of motors. No brand, no label, nothing in there. So it's three motors plus the fourth motor with the gearbox, with the screw, and this one, which is a plasticky infinity feed screw. Let's see. Yeah, this might be giving us some headaches. I don't know. Put this back. And finally, what is this? Ah, this is probably the extrusions. Looks like some shady drag package. I hope it's not drugs inside. If it's drugs, guys, I'm not going to publish the video. Yeah. And this is the true three extrusions. They're quite neatly packaged. They've also been black anodized after the cutting, which is appreciated because uh, then you don't have this shiny surface here. There are tapped screws in the four corners on all sides and this looks like it's not being just uh, cut with a saw it's precisely machine so yeah not bad and they look exactly the same so the unboxing is done guys and now i'm going for the assembly not sure if it's going to be tonight or tomorrow so we stay in touch thank you for watching and until next time Three, two, one, fight!